Question 1. A classic best-selling children's book is called Good Night What? Moon, Saigon, and Good Luck? The answer is Moon. Let's see if that's right. Alright, that's one. Question number two. Literally translated, chili with meat is known as what? Chili relleno, chili con carne, and chili verde. The answer is chili relleno. I don't think that's right, but let's see. That's wrong. On a traditional color wheel, what color is most complementary to blue? Orange, purple, or yellow? The answer is purple. Ooh, another one wrong. Okay, next question. The city of SeaTac is nearest to which U.S. coast? Okay, I'm hoping it says west. Okay, the answer is east. I think we know that's wrong. Okay, next question. In billiards, what is it called when the cue ball enters a pocket? Bogey, pike, or scratch? Let's hope for scratch. The answer is scratch. Hey, okay. Next question, what smuggled resource was central to the plot of Smokey and the Bandit? Beverages, car parts, or cigarettes? Let's see, beverages. Hey. Okay, next question, what color are the petals of an orange blossom? Green, orange, or white? Okay, let's see, orange. Ooh, dang. Okay, next question, the current interim host of Jeopardy shares a name with which Headquarters Games host, Hall of Trivia, HQ Trivia, or HQ Words. Okay, let's see Hall of Trivia. Dang. Which is not a model of Furby? Boom, Funky, or Fuzzy? The answer is Fuzzy. Hey. Next question. The oldest known living terrestrial reptile lives where? Isabella Island, St. Helena, or Seychelles? Okay, let's see Isabella Island. Dang. Okay, next question. Which constant is not in Euler's identity? So we don't have a way of capturing negatives yet, but let's just give it a shot. Okay, the answer is pi, but it's probably going to be wrong since uh, we didn't capture negatives. Hey, knew it. All right, last question. The original singer of what hit song has served in their home's home country's military? Graceland, Tiny Dancer, or You're Beautiful? Okay, let's see Graceland. Dang. All right, I hope you enjoyed my unsuccessful attempt at making a tri trivia bot using the Google Custom Search API. Uh, let's run through the code to see what it's doing and maybe how I can make some improvements in the future. But first, welcome to my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the 130th video on my channel. Uh, please like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe. So while it's fun to test the capabilities of the Google Custom Search API with a trivia bot, um, the real goal is to give Shane, my digital assistant, an intuitive way of doing um, enhanced Google searches. And so that's the real goal here. So make sure you, uh, before we get into the uh, code, make sure you watch the first, the part one of this um, two-part series where I'm building this, uh, where I'm using the Google Custom Search API because that's where we set up the actual API call. And we'll just quickly go over that in this video. Um, so now let's dig into the code. We're going to start from the bottom up. And so um, the first thing, do that you saw me doing was we're going to input the trivia question and we're going to make it lowercase everything's easier if you just make it lowercase so um, so the first thing is we get the input we make it lowercase and then we also um, then we I'm sorry then we go and we clean that question up and we'll go through this function in a second so the cleaned question equals this function and we're going to pass it the trivia question then we're going to get the three answers that headquarters uh trivia whatever it's called gives you separated by a comma then we're going to get we're going to separate those using a b and c equals this function separate answers and then we're going to pass it this the answers so let's see what we're doing here 
So first, um, we imported request in JSON in the previous video. Um, this time, I stored my Google search key in a file called keys. Now, this confuses a lot of my viewers. So since I have a YouTube channel, I keep all my API keys and usernames and passwords in this file called keys. So from this file keys, I'm going to import the Google search key as key. In my last video, I had a variable called key equals, and then I had the API key, and then I blurred it out. Um, and that's awful for editing. So then we're going to remove the words. And the reason why you do this is because you want to limit the potential for error for the Google search. And so what we're going to do is um, I, create, I have this JSON here. So JSON.loads equals, then we're going to open the settings.json. We're going to read it. And we're going to read the item remove words. So that's a lot. If you don't know how to use JSON, that might confuse you. But what we have is this settings JSON. And we have this list called remove words. So uh, we have a imp implemented a negative, but this is what you do for negative as well. Um, negative words, I'm sorry. So that's the first thing we do. Then we're going to pass an empty question. That way we can use it throughout. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to clean the question. So I called this OG question, the original gangster question or whatever. Um, but this is basically the trivia question that we copy and paste into it. So then we're going to split the question words by each word, right? So we're going to check. And then we're going to check, um, make sure they're clean words. So for word, in word, in the question words, that's this right here, question words, because we split every single word up. If it's in the word.lower, not in remove words. So that's a, a pretty big section. And what this is, is it's a single function, right? You could also do if, the else, or if, l if, if, or else. But this is just one way of saying if the word is in this remove words, then kick it out. Then all the clean words, we're going to join it. So um, dot join clean words. So the short question. So for example, what is this? What is the planet Pluto? It would take out what is and it would just say planet Pluto, right? So that's the short question. Then we return that short question. That's what we're doing here is we have the clean question now, which is the short question. Then we're going to take the answers and separate them. So we're going to pass it all answers. So in uh, the first video, it would be Artemis, comma, Persephone, comma, and then Phoebe. Then we're going to split those by splitting it on the comma. So A is the first element, or index 0. B is the first index, or the second option. And C equals the third option or the second index. And then we're going to return ABC. That's what we did here. ABC. And now we have three separate answers. Then we're going to take the probability that A is the answer and do the Google search. And we're going to pass it the shortened question, the clean question, and the search term, which is this uh, first index or this first option. So we pass it here and the search term. So uh, CX, this is, we established this in the very first video. The question is the trivia question, but shortened. The URL is this custom search. This was covered in the first video. Parameters hasn't changed, except in the first video we had or terms. Now I've changed it to exact terms. And we're gonna pass it the search term, which right now is option A. Then we're going to get all the results, pass it into a JSON, and then we establish a count equals zero. Then for each item, which is um, all the Google search in, uh, queries, in the results, so that's the results here, so for all the items we have in there, we're going to check for how many times, right, the dot count that the search term is in the snippet, which is the condensed result. So let's say we have 10 results. We're going to check each one. And every time we find the search term, we're going to count that. 
we're going to do the same thing in the title. So item title dot count using the search term. Then we're going to add those together and that's our total count. If it can't find anything, Google search API will pass a key error and that will be a count of zero. So whatever that is, it's going to return this count. So now the probability of A is the actual count, how many times it's mentioned. Now you have to be careful because this might not mean anything, right? Just because it has it um, written in the snippet doesn't mean it's the answer. And that's probably where I need to change it. Um, you know, that's probably the first place I need to change this to get a better result is what are we actually searching for? So when it's super generic words, then the danger is those words are normally used. And so you're counting things that might not be the answer. Then we're going to do it for the second option, which is B probability, and then the C probability. So now we have three, all three um, answers have a count to them. Then we're going to check which answer has the highest count. Now there is a lambda function, which I'm sure is much better and uh, advanced Python programmers can call me out. But this is uh, just how I know how to check the difference between or the, the highest count of three integers. So if A is greater than or equal than B, but and A is greater than or equal to C, that means it's greater than both, then the answer is A. Elif, the probability, the count of B is greater than A and C, then it's B. Um, I could take this largest out. I don't know why that's there. Uh, I, I had it for uh, testing purposes. Because if you're a self-taught programmer, you just do a bunch of millions of print statements throughout the code. I only show you once I'm finished. I don't show the testing I do. And the else is if it's neither of these, then the answer is C. So then we print the answer is, and you saw me do that. And that's pretty much all the code is. So what would I do better? I would probably check more than just the snippet and title, right? I would probably, um, as you saw, I need to do the, um, if the, uh, if there's a negative word, which is what I have here, I just didn't uh, implement that. If it's in one of these negative words, then the lowest count should be the, um, so I'd have to reverse this. And then the uh, lowest count is the answer. And that probably would have helped us for the not question, if you remember that one in the beginning of the video. Um, the other things is improve this search right here, right? So there are quite a bit more parameters that we could use. I might want to play with the or terms and see how we can better search that. And that's pretty much it. Again, the goal isn't to win at headquarters trivia. The goal is if... Um, or when Shane becomes more advanced and we need to Google search together, we can do some, um, I, I can't give a good example. I didn't think of one before I started the video, but hey, Shane, um, what was the name of that one song? Um, it had this in there, it had this in there, and maybe this, and then it can search those terms and, uh, you know, find me the, the answer I'm looking for. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please remember to subscribe and like this video. And um, thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.